During rehearsals for the upcoming movie week on Strictly Come Dancing, Arsenal legend Tony Adams, 55 and his professional partner Katya Jones, 33, took to social media to capture a wardrobe malfunction that left Tony's legs exposed. Practicing their samba to you sexy thing from cult classic film The Full Monty, Tony, who is dressed as a policeman, has poppers on his trousers, which have proved difficult to keep done up. Sharing a video with her 209,000 Instagram followers, Katya filmed the star having a break from rehearsals and sitting on a chair. As soon as he sat down in his costume, the poppers on his trousers unpopped, revealing his legs underneath. Thankfully, Tony was also wearing sports shorts which covered his modesty. In the video Tony is heard saying, they popped as soon as I sat down, which Katya immediately laughed at. Sharing another glimpse of their rehearsals, Katya once again filmed Tony, who sat in a chair in the rehearsal room. Prince William averse to Sussex's move as photo with Kate questioned by Jane Mora with the policeman's hat over his face, Tony pretended to be asleep, loudly snoring. As part of the gag, Katya filmed herself walking over to a sleeping Tony saying, what if there was a murder on the dance floor? And you missed it. The professional dancer also playfully captioned the video, not the security anyone wants, or do we? followed by a crazy face emoji. Tony and Kat you have it all to play for as they go into week 3 of Strictly Come Dancing after finding themselves at the bottom of the leaderboard after the first two weeks. Barbara Windsor's widow shocked over playing the long game accusations after her death, insights Strictly's Karen Hauer in incredible transformation as she flaunts peachy bum in leotard, latest Britney Spears. 40, worries fans as she poses naked on very public beach amid family rift, celebrity news, after his comical yet entertaining Charleston to my old man's A. Dustman, Tony scored an underwhelming 22 points out of 40, with judges Craig Revel Horwood, Motsi Mobuse, Anton Dubeka and Shirley Ballas scoring 4, 6, 6 and 6 respectively. Despite being bottom of the leaderboard, the public clearly love a trier as it was Kay Adams and Matt Goss who ended up in the dance-off, with Loose Women panelist Kay being the first to leave the competition. The public's support of Tony is clear to see, after an Instagram post of his gained more than 5,000 likes and tons of comments. Posting a montage of images and a video of him and Katya from last week, Tony wrote the caption, that was a little bit better, but a lot more fun. Thanks to everyone who voted for me, I'm trying my hardest to get it right, but at times I revert to type, swipe to see my Stevie Morrow moment in training, sorry at Katya Jones, and Steve. Still sorry after all these years, hashtag strictly hashtag saving lives hashtag mental health hashtag comfort zone hashtag addiction and strictly sick. With numerous celebrity faces and fans commenting on Tony's post, it is not hard to see why he sailed through to movie week. Sports commentator and regular BBC Breakfast Sports correspondent Mike Bushell commented, Superb Tony. What a brilliant routine and most entertaining dance of the night for sure. Brilliantly performed too. I know how hard Katya works you but it's paying off for sure. Hoping you stay in for many more weeks. Fellow Strictly professional dancer, Johannes Radebe also left his own thoughts, encouraging Tony to keep it up sir. The great British Bake Off host Matt Lucas also joined in, adding, it was majestic. Along with Tony's samba, 
Other celebrity couples trying their best to impress in movie week include Will Miller and Nancy Shue who are dancing an American smooth to cry to me from Dirty Dancing and Matt Goss and Nadia Beachkova who are taking on a Viennese waltz to hold my hand from Top Gun, Maverick. Strictly Come Dancing continues tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. on BBC One.